Hello everyone and welcome back to another Specimen Spotlight and today we are at the Children's Zoo section of the St. Louis Zoo back when we went on our visit in January and oh my goodness so what are you guys looking at right now? The Naked Mole Rat also known as the Sand Puppy or the Desert Mole Rat. It is a burrowing species native to parts of East Africa and this is the very first time that I have ever seen a real life Naked Mole Rat and I have to tell you guys they are a lot cuter than I ever thought they would be and they were so cute because of the way they were all cuddling together for warmth and they were kind of nibbling on their food and it really surprised me how absolutely drawn I was to them especially when I got to compare them to another one of the animals that was in the children's zoo which was the guinea pig who you guys are going to see in just a second I really love 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 guinea pigs cabbies are some of my favorite animals one day I hope to have many many of my own and actually you know Alex in zoo crafting has many many guinea pigs you guys need to go ask him about his adorable guinea pigs but there were several of them in the children's zoo as well as the meerkats so the meerkats had been moved from their outdoor exhibit into an indoor exhibit possibly because it was january possibly because they were redoing quite a bit of the zoo when i went there back in january and they were absolutely adorable but also came with a sign above their exhibit that said in very big bright letters warning i bite so even though if i really wanted to even though i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to you could probably lean in and like touch one don't do that you guys because i'm pretty sure these little meerkats as adorable as they are they kind of looked like they would be very very happy to bite you though they looked a lot friendlier than the llama that was actually sitting outside of the children's zoo because i i swear that llama was probably going to try to spit at me but the meerkats were adorable the naked mole rat was adorable the guinea pigs were adorable and i was so excited excited to see such a beautiful and well-stocked children's section for the zoo because it is so wonderful to present these animals and have the animal ambassadors stand in as opportunities for all ages to really come and enjoy and be inspired by. So if you guys ever get the chance to go, I highly recommend taking the time out of your day to go to the children's zoo part of the St. Louis Zoo. I had never been ever before, even though I have been to the St. Louis Zoo multiple times because I was thinking it was just an area for kids and I was really surprised at what that little hidden treasure trove happened to have. So never turn down something just because you think it's going to be childish. You have no idea how much you may enjoy it. I hope you guys have enjoyed these beautiful creatures and I can't wait to see you at the next specimen spotlight.